Hey guys, welcome back to the game replay. I am Dave the Usher. The game we're playing is Beanie Bopper for the Atari 2600. Okay, Beanie Bopper for the Atari 2600 was released by 20th Century Fox in 1982. Now what we do here is we control a bopper that runs around the screen trying to capture beanies. If you touch a moving beanie, you will lose a life, but the bopper is able to stun a beanie then catch it. And there are also various other falling objects that can be caught for points even if they aren't stunned. Now, if a stunned object or beanie is allowed to fall off the screen, it will be replaced by a meanie beanie. Now, bagging four beanies in a row without losing a bopper results in the addition of another bopper life. But the problem is you cannot keep more than three bopper lives in your reserves. This game also has two modes that either does or does not allow objects to pass through the different sized obstacles on the screen. So, all right, good stuff. Let's check this one out, man. Here we go. Now, we got two modes. Like I said, we're going to try each one of them. So we're going to start this game off. And just like I uh, explained in the beginning, we can stun them and we get the boppers. And there's falling objects you can get for points. I see those objects are going to fall. And, yep, replaced by uh, a meanie beanie. Whoa. Okay. Oh, that one's going to produce another meanie beanie. So, whoa, that almost touched me. Okay, so now I got four in a row, so these things would give me lives, but fortunately right now I don't need any lives. Whoa! Oh no! It turned into a meanie beanie! See, now I lost a life, as you can see. By the way, this thing, is it just me or does it look like a, like a, a purple olive or something? Doesn't it look like an olive? So as you can see, like, we definitely don't want these objects to fall off the screen. Sometimes, I don't know, you can't really help it. Oh! Oh! Look at that! I was going to get into that as well. Like, if you get trapped underneath the ob objects, it doesn't really kill you. It just kind of, uh, like, pushes you aside. And I think it would have been, uh, whoa. I think it would have been cooler, actually, if, uh, it, it did kill you. Or maybe if there was a mode to do where it would kill you. But no, you just kind of... Let's demonstrate it again here. So I'm just going to... going to stay here. Yeah, it just pushes me over there. Nothing, nothing really happens. Okay, so I got my, uh, orange olives orange olives flying around the screen. Oh, there's the meanie beanie. Oh! Gotta watch out. Gotta watch out for those meanie beanies. Oh, that's bullshit, dude! I totally had it. So yeah, the thing about this game is you can lose a bunch of lives. You can, you can lose like 50 lives. But if you just keep playing the numbers and, and getting the meanie beanies in a row, oh no! You can uh, you can replenish them. So it's not like... Uh, it's kind of a cool concept. I, I like it, actually. So that's two. Whoa, God, that was close. That was... That was three. There we go, there we go. So, we got the lives. Oh, get that button. Whoa, watch out. Meanie beanies. Whoa, meanie beanies. Meanie beanies. Okay, we're good. Jesus. My purple olive. I like olives. Who's, a, who's an olive fan? Let's talk about olives. You got the green olives. You got the black olives. I'm a fan of both. Some people don't like black olives, but they like green olives. Some people don't like green olives, but they like black olives. What's up with that? I mean, they're olives. If you're an olive fan, you gotta be an olive fan of all of them. That's just ridiculous. That's ridiculous. What are you doing? Eat your olives. What do you prefer your olives in? You got your olives in your tacos. You got your olives in your beverages sometimes. You got your olives in... Whoa! Your sandwiches. Jesus. I can't get that one. There we go. So, obviously, you can see the uh, the mode I picked is the one where I can't pass through the walls. In case you are unaware. Oh, man. Oh! Don't let it fall. Don't let it. Don't let him fall. Meanie beanies. Oh, no. Meanie beanies coming. No, don't do it. Just stay here. Sometimes it's kind of... Oh, man. You got to use the uh, obstacles on the screen to your advantage sometimes. Okay, so they've slowed down, as you can see. These things aren't fucking slowing down. Oh, shit. Oh, how did I not... Whoa! There we go. Don't let it fall. No! Oh, that thing was hunting me down, man. So right now, I have a bunch of points, and that's good. But we can get more points. It's kind of an interesting game, though. I mean, it doesn't really go with the whole, you know, our planet's being invaded... We're a bunch of asshole aliens with then people in spaceships and space. I don't know where we are. We're we're here. I don't know where here is, but 
some place where purple olives shoot. I don't know what those things are. They look like beakers, lab beakers with faces or something. With propellers on top. Jesus. Oh, that's horse ass. Arr, okay. You see, we're doing okay. We're losing lives, but it doesn't matter. Oh, oh, oh. No, the meanie beanie. See, they get faster, too. Oh, God. Oh, how did they get me? Oh, ricochet. Okay, this is bad, though. This is bad. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm losing my boppers. My beanie boppers. Okay, come on. I gotta not let them fall off the screen. Come on. One more. Gotcha. Nice. Oh, come on. Oh, I went for it. I got one back, though. Okay, I'm still in this. Just gotta be careful, man. Oh, jeez. What is that thing? What are those? They're like... Oh, no! They're like faces. They distracted me. So there's my points. What do you think? Oof. Good lordy. So, we are going to... Try it again. Fuckers. I'm gonna stick with this mode right now. We'll try the other mode, maybe. Next time, or... Maybe after this game, we'll see how it goes. I want to try and beat my record. What was my record? Five or sixes? I don't know. We'll find out. We'll figure it out. Let's just do good. That's the game plan. That's not the game plan. Fuck you. And like all these crazy old, fun, incredible, classic Atari games, it's always that crazy kid way back in the day who has, like, the record for, uh, two billion points or something, right? Can Dave get two billion? We'll see. I'm kind of hungry for, like, a Subway sandwich. I always get olives, black olives, on my Subway sandwich. That's important. We have to talk about that. Oh, fuck you, asshole! Black olives. You get black olives on your Subway sandwiches, guys? Leave the comment below. Mm. Ooh, I went for that one, and I got it. I went for it, man. I was afraid. Sure, I may have failed. He may have taken me down, but I went for it regardless. Because that's who I am. That's the kind of guy I am, man. Meanie beanie. Let's get crazy. Jesus. Yeah, that's right, bitch. No. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Dave's thumbs are hurting. Damn. Oh, oh, okay, that sucked. Hey, maybe we should just take it down a notch. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, there you go. Okay, now we're looking good. Woo! Whoa, hey! Whoa! Falls on the screen. What happens if you let them reach the bottom, though? Let's find out. It just kind of fades away and comes back. Oh, my God! Let's not do that again. Look at these obstacles. Burr, 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 burr. So I guess they're like parachute men. I don't know. They don't really even explain it. Are they jumping off the building? Is there a building? Where is this? Is this space? I don't know. It's Meanie Beanie. I kind of was hoping for like some like bizarre story. There's they always have something lined up for these Atari games, but some of them, some of these Atari games, they really went into details. Sometimes they would like release like a miniature comic book that came with the games <laughs> to give the game like a backstory. And back in the day, that was like fucking awesome, man. That's what made the game. I used to love that. They don't do that anymore. Not really. Oh, come on, I'm stuck on the thing! Oh, that's horse ass! Actually, you know what? Now that I think about it, I just noticed this. I was, uh... I was trying to pick the other game, but I didn't think I did. But it looks like, uh... I did do it, because these objects are passing through... The ops... The obstacles! Yeah, see that right there? It went right through. I didn't even notice. Probably why... I'm struggling a little more. 
the objects fuck me. But not these things. Oh, come on! There we go. Oh, man. Oh, no. Just get that one. <laughs> get away from me, dude! Whoa! Stop right there! Whoa! Again! No! The olives! Oh, God! I'm rebounding. Oh, jeez! Man, sometimes it, it really feels like they're hunting you down. Yeah, so I was just too busy concentrating on shooting everything. I didn't even notice that I did pick the other game option. Oh, man! Oh, come on! <laughs> Whoa! Oh, come on! Yes! Yes! Whoa! Oh, man! I still got there! Still in there! Come on! So what are these things? They look like smiley faces! Whoa! 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 What's going on? Oh! Oh! You son of a bitch! Oh, no, Dave! Why? Oh! And then you play the weird sound effects, but after I die, I would kind of like a little more of that, you know, in the game itself. That would kind of be cool. Anyway. Actually, if you, uh, you can notice on the top of the screen, right under the, uh, word Beanie and Bopper, you can see a little flicker of something come and go. That is changing the game mode. So that's kind of weird, huh? Alright, we're gonna put that off. As you can see, the objects cannot go through once more. Okay, that's annoying. <laughs> that's annoying. Okay, let's not get killed already. Damn. Yeah, yeah, there you go. There you go. Oh, okay. Amy Popper, my thumbs. Really, my right thumb. Games take a toll. What's going on? Okay, and you know, it's okay. I got no lives except for the one. My one purple olive right here, but we can rebound. That's the beauty thing about this game. Come on, Jesus. Come on, Dave, rebound. I don't want to get too close. Okay, so where are they? I want my lives then. Come on, what's going on? What is this one? This is ridiculous. I think I have to let one of these fall off the screen, but let's see how long I can keep this up. This is ridiculous. Oh, you can make it! Oh! Jesus, get him away from me! Finally! Oh, give me the fucking thing! Got a life. I got a life back. I'm actually gonna let it go... Oh, I can get this one. See, because then you want to repeat the pattern, so if you keep on collecting these things... There you go! Ha-ha-ha! <laughs> Guess I'll let that go. Whoa! There you go, and see? We're replenishing! We're replenishing! Jesus, getting quick, getting quick! Oh, Jesus! Look at this guy go! Whoa, he's coming right at me! Let's get him! Oh, that's not getting him! Arr. Okay, come on. See, like, you know, you're... Aiming right at him. Sometimes diagonal shooting can be kind of a bitch. Like, yeah, right there. You assume you're gonna get him. I mean, come on. Ah, damn it. So anyway, that was kind of crazy. This game actually is kind of fun. I mean, it's, it's old. It's it's 1980s. It's Atari. Is it a classic? Is it a weird one? I wouldn't call it a classic, but I would say it's kind of interesting the way they uh, do the whole replenish life system. That's that's kind of cool. I wish there was more like crazy like space stuff story-wise to go in here. Like if there was like crazy aliens. I mean, you got these orange helicopter beaker things with frowny fa uh, frowny faces. They they're not happy. That guy is not happy. He's stuck. There he goes. He's free. You're free, man. Actually, you know, I think I'm playing as the villain in this. I'm an evil purple olive, and I'm out to kick some ass and, and, and rape their planet and their orange helicopter beakers, and they're really sad, and they're trying to defend their weird little universe. That's what's going on here. See, that wasn't so hard. I just came up with the story. But anyway, it's kind of neat. It's kind of neat. It's kind of interesting. 
And uh, we're going to get back into it. We're going to play a little more on the next part, but I'm going to call it a wrap right here, guys. I want to thank you all for watching. I'm Dave the Usher for the Game Replay. Stay tuned for the next part of Beanie Bopper. I will see you guys next time. I am out.